Did you know it takes around 2,500 litres of water to produce a single hamburger? This represents all the water that's been used throughout the life of a cow to produce the necessary quantity of beef and all the other processes involved in generating a burger. This principle of calculating the water used throughout the production process shows the water eco footprint cost of any food product. This hamburger is potentially just a fraction of someone's daily food eco footprint. An eco footprint equals the proportion of land and water needed to support someone's overall consumption levels and reabsorb the associated waste. Currently, around 2.7 global hectares of land and water are required to support each person. The bad news is the planet only has around 2.1 global hectares available per person at present population levels. Your food eco-footprint is a percentage of your overall eco-footprint. Over the past 50 years, levels of population and food production have grown exponentially. This means an increase in greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide, methane and nitrous oxide. This creates a paradox where on the one hand, a rise in levels of food production is speeding up climate change and on the other, climate change is threatening food production. So to feed everybody on the planet, we need to change our eating habits as the products we choose to eat directly affect our food eco-footprint. But how can we do this? Let's take an example. Normally, Jane carries out her weekly food shop buying products to prepare a conveniently quick meal for her family. But after seeing a TV show explaining what an eco-footprint is, when she next goes shopping, she reads the label on the products and she asks herself the following questions. Is it in season? Was it transported a long distance? Is it produced or grown locally? How much water was used in its production? Does it come from a sustainable source? Or is it wild or farmed? Does it have a lot of unnecessary packaging? Was it grown indoors or outdoors? To make sure there's enough food on the planet for everyone, you can ask yourself the same questions. Does your food eco footprint have an effect on climate change? Is it sustainable? By being aware of your food eco-footprint and with the strength of an informed decision, you alone have the power to act to change.